Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to develop a custom CLI. Uh, custom CLI is command line interface. So, for example, um, you can see that when this is a this is a Windows command line interface, I'm using CMDR tool, which is a good tool. I can run Windows command, I can run Linux command, Unix command like that. One. So, I use that one. So, this is the normal CLI. But what about if you want to build your own command line interface and you want to add some more custom commands where you, wa you want to basically do some, some custom operation, which is not available in the Windows or Unix or Linux. Okay, so since I have one requirement and uh, there are a lot of libraries and other things are available, but I find some simple way, so I thought to share with you people. So let me show you the program first. Uh, this is a program pycli.py. If I start it, so you can see that one, it will come like that one. You will get a prompt like pycli. Okay, you can change this prompt, you can make your own prompt. And here you can execute all those commands which you already execute in the Windows or Linux. For example, ls l, dir, etc. etc. You can run. But additionally, you can run more commands. Uh, what more commands the commands which you are adding so for example i added some command like show dir to show only directories so if you see that in this file list we have only two directories my work and new folders so if i execute it you will see that it's showing only two directories if you want to show only files if you do show files you can see that one only files it is not listing the directories but if you want to list everything like uh, windows and linux you can either use dos command or you can use linux command it will work okay what so i have added one more command like show date so it will show you date and time like this one uh, usually when you execute this command in the windows it prompts you and it only show the date or like something like that one now um, one more thing you can do you can just change your prompt also so set prompt prompt i added all these custom things it is asking new prompt and i can say that when my prompt hash greater than like that one now you can see that one you have a new command prompt and you can just work on this one so how you can do it actually in a python okay um let me let me so show you the code actually So this is the code um, already I have written, but I will just write this code step by step for you. I will just do a copy paste to explain you people. So let me first import the libraries, normal libraries. You can just import it. I will remove something extra. Right. Okay. Now I have this array. So this is a two dimensional array. You can see that when it is a two dimensional array, every element in the array is having two things. One is what is the new command you want to add. And when you execute this command, what function you want to execute, give the name of the function here. How to write and handle this function, I will let you know. So just simply uh, add the new command which you want to execute. And after that one, what function you want to execute. And then function is going to up to do the operation which you want to do that one so setting date and time or or anything which you want to do that you have to take care inside this function okay so this is a command actually now if i go back um, this function is uh, just uh, a simple function to print a message so for example i added this for the beautification purpose not important but if you see that when when i'm executing the command anything like show date then you, you see that when a message comes here it is showing that one date and time and it is an info type message um, showing current date and time etc okay it is showing here so i have written this function so you can just pass this message what message you want to display uh, what what type you want to put in the bracket for example if it is an info or you want to show that it is an error and after displaying the message if you want to delay for one second two second you can put the delay so i have taken the current date and time 
and just do the print of this current date and time with the tag and the message and just do a sleep. It is a simple function that print command, little bit customized print command. Now I'm taking another function which is this valid command and what it does see whenever I'm entering this command actually okay like uh, show files okay so somehow uh, I need that this command should be validated that it is the correct command uh, which is there in my list actually okay so whenever I'm entering the command so I have written this function is valid cmd that I'm passing this command which I'm entering from the command line interface to this function and this function does a validation so what it does actually it iterate through each uh, uh, command in the given list and it remove all the white space for example if it is a set prompt then this ecmd is become like set prompt and even the value which comes from this list also also it removes that one so just simply remove the white space and create a single string of this one and then it compares if compares if both are same it returns true and the corresponding strc1 is basically corresponding function name okay so when this matches then it returns true and the corresponding function name but actually if it doesn't matches it returns false and the just a command okay so this is the validation i did that one okay now if i go back to the next uh, command sorry some my system is a little bit hanging This is the okay let me explain you the code here itself actually so def str to class function is basically see uh, when uh, when this function is valid command return a function this f set prompt uh, this is a function name and if you see that in the code i have written the function name like that one f set prompt f show dirs f show files so for example if i give set prompt it will execute the f set prompt function this is the f set prompt function so it is returning a string and when how you can call this function okay uh, if you just try to uh, simply uh, put a name of the function uh, it is a string it will say that when the the string is not a callable function okay it will throw an error so you need to you need to convert this return value to the <laughs> class actually uh, so that you can execute actually so uh, i will show you that one, what is the error it comes actually see for example I show you that in a simple way. Uh, if I go here itself, let me remove this whole things. Okay, so demonstrate you. Um, I I just uh, written a piece of the code. I will copy it here to show you that one. See, uh, I have done a function uh, my function. Okay, now this my function is defined here. Def now if i call this my function like this <laughs> sorry my function it is showing hello but uh, if you see that one the array element zero is also for example if i print a zero this is also name of the function my fun so if i simply say this one okay will it run because a zero is my fun and i've added this left and right parenthesis it looked like it should run but it will throw the error that str object is not callable because a0 is a string coming from this function this array so this is this is a string and you cannot call this thing like a function so you need to convert this to a function class and what this function does str to class convert this to the function class okay so if i do this one str to class and then i pass the same function and i run it remove it 
you can see that when you will get hello so you can execute the function where function name is coming from an array as a string through this simple function okay simple function so let me proceed further i'm coming here back okay so i was showing you here uh, that this function name and then i have written all these function which i was showing you that one changing the prompt showing the directories all this os dot system command i'm executing dr slash ad if you run it will show only directories which is i'm calling from the os dot system only to show the file i'm executing dr slash piece and then using some filter and then show data i'm using this one now from here it is coming the main program so main program you can see that one uh print message i'm using the same function starting pci like i will write by cli version 1.0 2022 uh, it will be like info and it will delay for three seconds i will make it two second and then what i'm doing here os dot system cat learn at your disk banner this is just a text file which i kept as a banner which comes in the starting it is just a text file which i cat it which comes in in, in the starting uh, where i was showing you that one this one just to make this some some beautification like i said uh, then i just put a bin loop function then true and then here the prompt i define initial prompt pi cli so then i put a while loop be in a loop so it will always true then i'm using cli input input prompt plus this is space to prompt for the uh, getting the command so here actually when uh, i was showing you here actually so here it is waiting for the it is in the loop actually and it is waiting for the command through this one cli input okay and then if i'm typing cli input is equal to exit then it print a message that exiting and then it is coming out and otherwise it is calling is valid function which is i have explained you in the beginning uh, it return to value if it is a true then it will return uh, true or false and then function name or uh, argument name i will say that one function name is fine so for example i entered show date it will take show date it will validate against the array it will return true and then it will return the corresponding function name and then this function name will be called from here okay uh, and you see that when once it is true then i'm calling this str to class function name and if it is not then i'm just simply doing os dot system and cli input because in case of false it is returning the command which i have entered so for example if i entered ls hyphen l or dir this command is not here so it return false and it returns the entered command and that goes in the os dot system cli input and it ex executes like a windows command uh, it is just if you press control c then it comes out so this is all simple program uh, i don't think anything more is there to explain that one uh, i will extend this program to add some more things actually in future but if you have any queries let me know and uh, just give your comment uh, but you can see that one it is working i, I put exit it is exiting again if i execute this one and if you press control c some error is there what error is there here okay uh, here the print message i have not given properly I will correct it here the print message uh, I have to give exiting or maybe exiting info delay one second this is a mistake which I was doing see if I run it again here and I press control C info exiting so thank you for watching this uh, video um please share your comment i will upload more videos thank you very much and wish you all a very happy new year